Hey everyone, we are back with another video. I've got my TT-02 finished and built up. My Mustang GT4 got everything put together, painted, decals applied last night and took it out for his first uh, trial run this afternoon and everything is working great. It was an awesome build. It was my first kind of from scratch kit that I built uh, since, I don't know, 30 years ago when I built my old Low C Junior 2. So it was a lot of fun you know, clipping all the parts off of the plastic trays and get every, getting everything together. Uh, mechanically, everything looks good. The paint turned out amazing. Uh, again, first time doing a Lexan, uh, Lexan body paint job in probably 30 years. And I would say it probably came out 80% good. Um, a few blotchy spots in the complicated parts in the muffler or in the uh, bumpers. Uh, but otherwise, it, uh, it came out really nice. I used the Tamiya gunmetal color and just a few details on the build here that I'll uh, that I'll highlight so I went uh, obviously using the stock um, torque tune 540 motor because that's mandated in the in the racing series that we uh, we, we race with and also the hobby wing 1060 uh, electronic speed control for brushed motors so interesting um, I guess American or US market TTO2s uh, come with a Tamiya speed controller, but in Canada they don't, so you have to actually buy them separate. So the Hobbywing 1060 is the go to. Uh, for the servo, I went with the Protec 100 SS. It's a servo that I've got uh, in my uh, other car, my associated RB10, and I've also got a Protec in my Raptor as well. And then, as you can probably tell from the connector, I'm running a Traxxas system, uh, the TQI receiver, also using. Uh, the Traxxas battery connector, so I've re-soldered uh, everything there with a bit of sh shrink wrap. I do that because I'm already invested in the system, so I've got a bunch of batteries from Traxxas, and rather than starting with a whole new uh, batch of different brands, I'm just sticking with Traxxas. Uh, and all of my cars run through the Bluetooth module, so I run them all off of one singular TQI controller. So that's why I'm doing that. Again, probably when uh, Radio Master upgrades their firmware or their software to be compatible with those receivers, I'll probably get that radio, but until then, I'll just use the TQI receiver with the Bluetooth module. It works perfect for everything that I needed to do. So a little hiccup during the assembly, I'll just quickly mention. So when I was install installing the receiver and I went to feed the antenna through the antenna tube holder at the bottom, I actually pinched off and broke the antenna. Um, only leaving about two or three inches left. I thought maybe I'd get away with it, uh, but no, the car would only go to the end of the driveway before it lost range and uh, powered off. So went to my local hobby shop, thanks to Paul at 110 Hobbies. And uh, instead of replacing the receiver altogether that I thought I was gonna have to do, we just cracked open uh, the existing one and he had a spare TQI antenna from an old receiver and we just soldered that back in and it's good as new. So. Uh, a free repair, thanks to Paul again, saved me about 50 bucks for a new receiver. And I also picked up a ProTech fan for the engine or for the motor. I've got the same uh, fan in my Raptor R. Uh, it's a great looking piece and it works very well, so just threw that in there. So that's my TT-02, the Mustang GT4. Um, I'm really looking forward to getting it on the track and racing it. There we go. Uh, I think it looks awesome. Again, really happy with the way it turned out. Just a quick update to Mini Z. Even though the season is over, we're still running once in a while. Um, I got some new PN Racing wheels. These are the original ones that I was looking for, but I just couldn't find them in the offsets that I wanted. So I ended up with those green disc wheels that you recall, but finally I was able to find them in the right offset. I think it's a perfect combo that uh, kind of neon yellow with the white body looks amazing. So anyway, once uh, racing starts on April 28th, I will give a race report for the uh, TTO2 series that uh, we do locally. And I'm really excited to get this thing on the track. So uh, keep, um, keep tuned in, please subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon.